Hey YouTube. Well, <clears throat> you know we've been getting one inch snows every night and for some reason during the day they would melt so uh, there was no plowing of them. You can't really plow an inch of snow too well unless you're on blacktop. Well, the problem here is that those inches of, inches of snow, even though I did plow t two of them, uh, the night before last we got an inch of snow. And, you know, that was New Year's Eve. So then the temperature went up and it started to melt. So there was no sense in trying to plow that. Well, here it ended up where the temperature melted just enough of it to uh, become a pain. So what we have here now is nothing but ice. And believe me, it is hard to get around. But I still got to get the dog out because he'll go crazy in there by himself. So anyway... I'm going to work on that. Yow. Well, you can see I don't even leave footprints when I walk in this stuff. The temperature is 33 degrees. So that's why it looks like, like there's a little bit of water here running. But it would take a month to melt this snow at one degree high, higher than 32. So... Now, the good thing about having a coal stove and having ashes is that I took the, the um, tub of ashes and took them up there because we can get around in the driveway okay. That's not too bad. But the, uh, at the end of the driveway there, as you go uphill, you can see up there, I put ashes there and then going up the road up there because it's just so steep that uh, not real steep but it's steep enough that when it's icy you can't get anywhere even with four-wheel drive so anyway it's icy you see how the, the heat that we had the other day from the 40 degree temps brought the snow and stuff off the roof but it stopped you know on the bottom there and now it's just not going anywhere. So that's another day. This is the 2nd of January, 2021. It's just another headache of the way things are. Now it's supposed to get real cold and snow again. If it does, then this won't be so bad. But right now it's pretty bad. A couple days ago, this snow was all the way to the top of that handrail out there. Now, you see where it is, there's about 8 inches of snow left in the woods, but we keep getting this warm weather than cold weather, and if you see there, it's 33 degrees, 30, yeah, 33, 34 degrees, and that's just not enough to make it really melt very good. So, it is what it is. Birds got their feed this morning. But it's all icy out there, very hard to walk out there. You can see, uh, you can't see any footprints out there where we walked to feed them because it was all solid ice. Hey guys, well it's the end of the day here. And you can see I got pretty much of the ice on that path to go over to the dog there so that Sally and I can walk on it without breaking our necks. But the other part's really solid ice. So we're supposed to get eight and a half inches of snow tomorrow. Between now, well actually between now and Monday night. So I put the truck where I could put it, make sure that it's all gassed up and everything so that I can plow easily. And I put the backhoe over further and the car is out of the way as well so I can plow everything when I have to. So. Hope you guys had a good New Year, a Happy New Year Day, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I had gotten sick on New Year's Eve, and I wasn't able to enjoy it too much, but um, it's okay. New Year's is never a big deal for us. We don't usually go anywhere. We just usually stay up, and we used to watch on television a ball drop, or go up, or whatever, over in New York, but I haven't seen that in 20 years, so not much going on. 
but it is a nice winter day actually even though we got this ice storm so hope you guys have a good one bye